Firstly, Singapore is the world's second busiest port and has an excellent economy. Developers have already linked Forest City with Singapore through the second bridge, making the trips only 20 minutes apart. Forest City will also have its own customs facility, making it easier to travel between Forest City and Singapore. Forest City includes a lot of green innovations, such as rooftops and vertical gardens. The city will have a two-layer design, with the lower layer being for vehicles and parking, while the higher one will be designated to parks, sports facilities, and transport hubs. The city will solely use renewable energy, and it'll be complete by 2035 costing $100 billion. Development of one of the four proposed islands is nearing its completion with 50 buildings, golf courses, swimming pools, and beaches. However, they haven't been stress-free from economic and political hurdles. The project is primarily being funded by China and Chinese residents have been given a free pass to move into this city for the first few years. As a result, wealthy Chinese investors who couldn't afford the rapidly rising prices in China have been able to buy these apartments. More than 80% of the property owners in this area are Chinese. As a result, almost all of the street signs are in Mandarin, and there are only a few schools and they are offering Mandarin courses. Most Malaysians who live here can't afford to buy these apartments because they're too expensive. The influx of Chinese investors caused a public outcry and critics called this project a form of colonialism. So after Mahathir Mohamad returned as prime minister, he banned foreigners from owning property in the forest city. The first major setback was when many foreigners fled the city. As things escalated with the pandemic, new investors became discouraged and the country's movement control order meant that no new investors could move in. It was announced last year that lots of existing investors opted out of the project due to the uncertainty. Early reports indicated that by 2020, less than 500 people were actually living in the residential developments. This number is low considering its design for 700,000 people. The project has remained in flux ever since with some salespeople claiming that fewer than 10 homes were sold at Forest City since the start of the coronavirus pandemic to make it worse. Country Garden is not doing well. They've already let go of 1,000 Malaysian workers in the past year. It is probably too early to tell whether or not the Forest City project will be successful. However, it is surprising that after investing billions of dollars, this mega project isn't achieving any success leaving it at least for now as a worthless meta project.